Too fast. Oh, he got dreadlocks. Bob Marley mode. Enjoy my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And if you read by the title, it's time to slide those cash ass into our drivers for some more Common Rider X Aid Reaction. Yeah, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now that I, um, kind of forgot some of the uh, things that happened in this episode because it's been quite some time and I apologize for that I think it's been like two weeks since the last time we reacted to this but you know life things happen life be life and, and I've been having to take care of a lot of business issues like pertaining to taxes and other situations in you know the background so yeah if you guys have been wondering it's because all these different things have been coming at me and I have to handle business from time to time but we are back man and if I'm not mistaken we got a return of a character in the form of Kamen Rider Laser Turbo or something along those lines uh, aka Korea yeah Korea Kujo is back and I I'm happy to see that, but I'm also saddened at the fact that he's a bad guy now who's essentially going to be under the control of Cronus. Cronus, you know, he has that pause technique, which allows him to actually just freeze everything and do whatever he wants. And if I'm not mistaken, they did come up with a solution to counteract that in the form of Dan Caruto's um, revival ability. You know, usually he tries to revive instantly after dying, but this time around he decided to do it mid pause i guess and they thought they had you know got the drop on him but no it's like this guy not only does he have hero the common rider tattletale edition he also has you know laser so we're gonna see how this goes i can't wait to find out what's gonna happen and what um my man emu is thinking about this because he's been feeling the death of korea ever since the man passed away so Let's let's find out, man. This is gonna be episode thirty-five, titled "Rescue the Partner." Oh shit! Here we go. Oh wow! So y'all changing it up a little bit. So is the opening changing too? I want I can't deny. Give me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everybody's here in effect now. You see all that transformation? It can say, it can say, do, 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 do. it can say, it can say, do, do, do. I'm on a mission right now. I'm on a mission right now. I can say, I can say, for do, do. Okay, man, I can dig it. This guy, he's thinking, who am I going to fuck up now? Are you gonna just dangle this carrot over this guy's head? Damn. Just like that, this dude making boss moves? <sighs> hey, so is he gonna depower now? Really? Laser 
Yeah, he's just dating, man. That can't be the same guy. It's not true. Yeah, these writers, they suck ass. <laughs> yeah, get this piece. That two piece and a biscuit, boy. Mm. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on, bro. Really? And do the same thing you did last time? <laughs> Why did this Buckster become an afterthought? Shakaraki spots! Nice, here we go! Mm. Let's go, Mules on Wheels! Here we go! What the fuck is he gonna do? Is he gonna get down on all fours and ride like a bike or something? <laughs> Damn. Wow. Okay, so he used the master deflect technique. Can't say the same for this nigga. I mean, you waste him anyway. Ooh! <laughs> Dark Korea at your service. Wow, you look like young yeah from YouTube. Yeah, this ain't like you, bro. You're not the type to keep your jacket all the way on. You like it over your shoulders. Get back, nigga. Coroner. Oh. <laughs> I like how he has everything professionally laid out on how he's going to destroy this world. He has pie charts. It ain't right, bro. It's not right. Something like that. Okay, we'll see about that, nigga. Mr. Billy Badass. Got your number. It's not. His style is too mature for the real Kiryu. Laser table. Man, get on somewhere, bro. Right? <laughs> wiped your ass out with a time kick. That's right. I'm actually doing something with my buster powers. What the fuck is you doing? Besides destroying everything. <laughs> I like how they just ignore this dude now. Are you really finna try to pull up on this man again? Knock him out. Yeah. 
Upset stomach, huh? must take you out and kill you again right man we used to be boys bro that doesn't sound right him living inside you you know you might want to recant that statement. Tell him. Yes, behold my powerful body. I love his form. I wish he would have used this more in his normal state. Oh shit, here we go with this nigga. Do you ever just sit anything out? Oh, he got jet power? <laughs> wow, his little slinky legs. That is so funny. Too slow. Mm. Man, you ain't gonna do that with no fucking cronies, man. Come on now, Tiger, you can do better than that. Well, Zawodo! <laughs> Take that and move that out of the way. Uh, definitely gonna go ahead and eviscerate that. Uh. <laughs> Good shit. Just continue. You gonna do cancel us? Blacklist us as old DLC? Really? Man, you ain't shit, bruh. Ah! Nani? Yeah. <laughs> you should have saw that coming, you asshole. Now you got your red dicky pants all wet up. Hopefully you had no cell phone in your pocket. What reprogramming? It's the real deal, huh? What? Yeah, wipe yourself off, man. Yeah, I was just going to say that. He wasn't the genius M we thought he was. I got your bitch. <laughs> Bitch! The fuck you didn't did? Uh oh, Savage Emu unlocked. Oh, 
<laughs> I can give a fuck less. Pause. Wow. Man, I thought I was gonna get a chance to see Emo kick some ass. Tell legacy. Oh shit! This has to be some kind of. You got you a gas shack now too. Hyper. <laughs> it just know it's personal. Why he look like Gene Kazama right there, yo? It's on, bitch. Should have never said what you said about my mama. But for real though, what did he say to him? Like, I am very curious in knowing what that was that he actually whispered in my man's ear to get him so triggered. But guys, that was episode 35, Rescue the Partner. And uh, looks like Kiryu, he's, or Kiria, he's gonna be playing for keeps. Um, he uh, has his turbo powers in full effect. It's not like how it used to be. It seems like this is a more streamlined version of what we saw where he had the motor motorcycle parts on his body. This one is very much an efficient form for him, and I have been vouching for him to get an efficient Kamen Rider form, as opposed to the clunky stuff that we last saw him in. Um, now it seems like the gloves are off, you know, like especially after he whispered whatever he whispered in Emu's ear. I like how Emu has really become a capable fighter, man. And like, and when he's in his camaraderie state, especially that maximum form, he does a lot of damage. And we saw him do that when he fought off against Kiria. You know, it was just very good. But once again, it doesn't mean anything if Cronus has his pause ability. You know, it, being able to pause a game of any type gives you a full advantage because you can essentially mess somebody else up you know the opposing player so it's gonna be a bit of a hassle seeing how he gets that back but i like the fact that kuto has essentially created this new gas shat called the hyper mudaki or mudakai gas shat and we also have tato legacy so i'm guessing we're gonna see how those two super power ups go up against each other it's gonna be great Hopefully, though, Hero realizes that it's not going to be a good thing for him to work with this guy anymore because obviously Cronus has something up his sleeve and we know he's the devil in this show. Any business guy or a guy that owns a business empire, they're pretty much the devil incarnate. So hopefully he doesn't fall for the okie doke and he lets his uh, girlfriend rest in peace. But if I were to rate that one, I would definitely give that one an S. It's been doing good. You know, this show continues to amaze me with all the different twists and turns and stuff. But let's go ahead and jump into this next episode. This is going to be episode 36 titled, The Invincible Gamer. Uh-oh, who's invincible? Let's find out. What is this, a commercial? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> District 9. <laughs> Boy. Didn't we just see this guy get his ass whooped and get sick? Bro, give it up. We got superheroes for that. Oh, wow. They even got this shit up on Amazon for sale. Oh, no. 
We got net beards entering the chat in basement dwellers. All right, you know you're gonna kill these people. They don't stand a chance against you. Dado leg. Oh snap! Here we go. Where have I heard that word before? Damn. I like how they have in that classical Final Fantasy style art. 100? Really? 100? Okay, so it wasn't like he was just really buddy buddy with us anyway, right? It doesn't even work. Yeah, exactly. You're reluctant. Your conviction is weak. Does it have some? Okay, so. <clears throat> Probably has something to do with Hero's girlfriend. Let's get it. All right, let's rock and roll, indeed. Mm. I love maybe fighting on top of water and stuff. Mm. Get your ass down there. Right. Oh, snap, here we go. Oh, shit. I'm afraid your console isn't compatible with this device. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna try it? Oh, sparkly. Remember, I am Dio. Oh, nice, you can bypass it. It's almost like having a star power up from Mario. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> He's going crazier and crazier. Oh, shit. Huh? Exactly. What you gonna do now, little bitch? You taking that? <laughs> Wow. No, I say the nay, bitch. Okay. Maybe he's not convicted enough either, man. That's probably why they've been... Oh. Shut up, bitch! Uh, little Johnny still wants to be a hero. Huh? I wonder what a thick rider is gonna look like. I know, but you playing with people's emotions, man. Like, these people really want to bring back their loved ones. Okay, so he still rocks his jacket the classical way. 
そしたら次の報酬がそのガシャッと見せてくれる。Well, doesn't he have a friend that you lost too? これはドクターとしての僕の判断だ。いいぜ。ただし条件だ。クロノスを攻略したら、俺とお前の決着をつける。うんうん。もちろん。そのつもりだ。Uh oh! Big boy! <laughs> I wonder if this guy was a real fan. Hey. At least he could slim down a little bit. Oh! Double meat, double cheese attack! Let's do it! Oh boy, here we go. Player の邪魔すんなって。お前たちは。僕が攻略する。うん。Damn, so he just transformed like that, huh? I like how he got his weapons back. There you go, piece him up, man. Five knuckle shuffle this fool. Bus all Benny, really? Domo. Uh oh. Now, if Hipster Scarf has anything to say about it. Right. I'm not gonna send you nowhere. <laughs> Parad just got played. I knew he was gonna do this shit. Uh huh. How you gotta get the gas at back though? He's more confident. All right, that big clunky piece of shit. What? Okay, so he was playing double agents. Let's go. Is there? He knew it was gonna go like damn. This is not to die again. Uh oh! Tell me something. <laughs> okay, so he was obliging then. Obliging with a bludgeon to the head a few times. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Here we go, baby, going gold. Limited edition mode. Mm. <laughs> Too fast. Oh, he got dreadlocks. Bob Marley mode. Yeah.
Wow. A lot, bitch. There's probably not even a limit on this anymore. Mm. Got them down Leroy Jenkins grades. Unlimited. Unlimited blade works. Or should I say unlimited fade works? I'm gonna bop it down. Uh oh. Hooah! Oh shit. Yeah! <laughs> oh! The perspective shot on that. Well, he took the brunt of it though. Now it's gotta be something to it though. Uh, yeah. It has a slight delay, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, don't you feel played? I saw these guys could be brothers. I like that too. It's like genius gamer M, and his name is Emu. Hey. Bits, could you scream any louder? I'm canceling your ass. I'm discontinuing you. Excuse me, who are you? But guys, that right there was Kamen Rider Episode 36, Perfect Invincible Gamer. Well played, Ibu. Well played, my guy. I did not think he could be this cunning, but I like how he played along with Kiryu or Kiria because um, apparently Kiria wasn't under the influence of anything. He was just trying to play Cronus to get the um, proto gashats, which which was nice, you know, I was kind of wondering what their angle was, but now I see, you know, um, these guys continue to amaze me with their different strategies and stuff. And it's easy to get a drop on a character that think they're almighty, all power, all encompassing. You know, um, sometimes the powers go to these guys' head and their ego, which we have seen multiple times with both Dan and his father, you know, like they both can get a little overzealous with their ambitions, but... Yeah, it was cool to see Hyper Muteki Gashat powers activated, which let's call it for what it is, man. It's basically like Mario's star power, like where you're you're invulnerable for a matter of seconds before it just wears off. Except this time, there's no time limit. It's unlimited when it comes to Imu, especially after he's merged with um my uh, guy Parad, which. Is awesome. I like how he played Parade like that because Parade, for the most part, he's been the guy that likes to be puppet master and play people and lead them to believe something that isn't really true. So it was it was nice to see Emu return a favor. And it's just crazy that I never really picked on the double entendres with his name because you have Genius Gamer M and then you have this character named Emu and you have Mighty Mighty M or whatever. Uh, it's cool how that is, you know, his name kind of sounds like the Japanese pronunciation for the letter M, you know, because they always say Imu. So, yeah, man, very good with that. Um, it seems like now it's going to boil down to a fight between Hiro with his uh, Tato Legacy driver and Imu's new uh, Hyper Mutuki, Mutikeki, or whatever, however you say it. My, I don't know why my lips just cannot form those words properly, but 
Yeah, my, uh, Hyper Muteki Gas Shack powers. You're going to see how those things clash. Because I was very much looking forward to seeing that with Hero. But like he said, his heart just isn't in it. He feels a bit of reluctance. He's, Which is a good indication that he doesn't really want to work for Cronus. But he feels like he has to in order to restore his woman to her normal form. You know, her spirit and everything. So, yeah. Overall, man, got to give this an S+. Plus. You got to do it. They keep on hitting me with them, man. Hitting me with all these great episodes. But with all that said, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What did you think about this? Did you like it? Did you love it? Let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything that I may have missed or got mixed and screwed, also provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling me on things to come. But once again, this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction too. Kamen Rider X-Aid. Peace.